Hi. Uh, welcome to another uh, session of uh, Wing Chun Kit. Um, I do like to point out that uh, a lot of people who practice Wing Chun, they really don't know how to uh, be more all-round all uh, fighters uh, because uh, they only practice the uh, straight punch. And then they end up thinking that that's the only thing you do because they watch a lot of Ip Man movies and, and that's all they do. But, you know, the fact of the matter is um, there's only, in the real situation, there's only a few instances where you can use Wing Chun is when someone is within range. Um, then you would use Wing Chun only when they are in range and then that situation doesn't happen very often uh, especially in a competition nobody is going to be that close to you when they're fighting uh, they're going to shoot in maybe they'll be that this close for you just for a second and then they're going to move back out again so for that second when they're in range then you can use these Wing Chun moves but when they're even when they're this far away you cannot use any of these moves because they're basically out of range. So a lot of people have the misconception where they think that, you know, is Wing Chun all the way when you're fighting against someone or sparring against someone who is not a Wing Chun person. So you do have to practice a uh, regular kind of fighting and then you incorporate your regular kind of fighting with your Wing Chun when they are in range. So to be well all around, um, I do, uh, from time to time, put these on, these uh, cheap gloves that I got. And I use the dummy, and I wrap the dummy with some foam. Um, and uh, this is a really, really good workout, because uh, the, the, the dummy, I really like the way it hits and the way it bounces back. The weight there feels just right for me. Um, I do also have a, a punching bag, but uh, I, I don't enjoy it as much because just the way it feels on the punching bag and the bag is always swinging and moving everywhere. I kind of don't like that. I, I prefer the, the weight, the return weight of the dummy. It just feels really good and it's a really good workout. Uh, for the most part, um, this kind of workout that I do is, is more just for health and for exercise. Uh, I'm not a boxer and uh, this is more like it beats jogging. Uh, it beats jogging on a treadmill. This is just as boring as hell. So when you're working uh, gloves on a dummy, it, it really, it's fun. It's a, it's a workout. It's a body total body workout you're working out your arms you're working out your lungs and it's just um, it gives you an all-around uh, 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 training rather than some people really if you train too much in one style um, you're not you know having the benefits to to be a little bit more flexible in other styles so uh, I would encourage people you know um, not to be so stuck on one particular style, you know, like Bruce Lee already proved that in the 70s. Uh, you know, uh, take in what you uh, uh, have, take in what you've learned, uh, use what is useful to you, and if it's not useful to you, then don't use it. Um, it's like if you're a big guy and if you're like six foot three and you, you know, you're extremely athletic. And, you know, the soft way of Wing Chun may not really seem to work for you because you don't need to go soft when you're big and strong. Uh, and most guys are either your size or smaller. You don't have to uh, go soft. You can go hard and go through them. And that's fine. Um, but because I'm not a small, uh, I'm not a big guy and therefore I need to learn the Wing Chun way. To, uh, to try to go around an obstacle because I'm not strong and I don't have big arms. So anyhow, going back to, to your training, is that I do encourage everyone to do some, just some free boxing mixed in with a little bit of Wing Chun.
And uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much. Bye.